get the championship? Uh, no, no, it's not. Right. It's not quite. Okay. Uh, but what it does do is it evens things up in the manufacturers winning most classes between Ferrari and Aston Martin. And with two wins for Porsche, that puts them, I think, one or two back. So we're so close in terms of the, the relative success here of the, the, GT, uh, the GT manufacturers. It's extraordinary. So that's bragging rights at the end of the season, if nothing else, uh, at least. Oh, that is quite remarkable, isn't it? Well, a delighted Mark Webber. I think he'll take this win over the one they lost in the rugby last night. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> Although there is the Antipodean duo. Roman Dumas, what a drive from Roman, and what a strategic uh, call excellent. from the pit wall. Brilliant stuff. They did two completely different things in order to guarantee first and second there. I think they did exactly the right thing with Mark in getting him onto the new tyres as quickly as possible. That also put Roman into clear air so that he could get some decent laps as well. The gap at the end, just four seconds, and uh, 30 seconds between the top three. After six hours of racing, or six hours less, some four-course yellows of racing, and an early safety car uh, was starting under the safety the car. But another remarkable run from this, what is becoming a remarkable 17 Porsche crew. How well have these guys gelled? Just unbelievable. You know, at the start of this programme, the 18 crew were the ones, this year's 18 crew were the ones that seem to have the pace, but they've been blown away by the 17. And uh, by the way, the, the way it finished in P2, it was uh, Signatech Alpine, the only car on the lead lap in P2. Indeed. Uh, whereas the top three in Pro were separated by 51 seconds, pretty much the same as at the sharp end of the field. And... As far as Am, the top three, well, there was a lap, 40 seconds between the first two and a lap to third. Let's go down to Mark Webber and Andre Lotterer with Louise. Well, Mark, that was great for you. That's just what you needed, but it, more so, that's just what Porsche needed. Yeah, I think, you know, to win the constructors today is Porsche's day. Uh, a one-two, what style to get it in off the front row. Uh, really, really tricky race for everybody. Uh, strategy, drivers, uh, dealing with the back markers. Very tricky offline as well. So um, very, very tough endurance race today. 1,000 Ks. I think we definitely earned the champagne tonight. And so have Porsche. I mean, Porsche have come into this series. They've shown the way. Sensational technology. Incredibly quick car. We're not going to rest in the laurels. We'll be back, of course, uh, to fight, defend the constructors next year. But next weekend, we've got to get a driver's world championship as well. Thank you, Adam. Well